Hello and welcome to Miniature Misfit. I'm Michelle. I am your misfit for today. We're looking at stalagmites, not tights, mites. Mites crawl on the ground, tights hang tight from the ceiling. This is how I remember these things. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ask. Okay. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Nah, just kidding. This is. I'm going to show you how to make these. I'm going to show you how to make these. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Take a loo roll. Scrunch and twist. Yeah. There's always too much at the top. Take it off with scissors. Don't take too much off. Just take a little bit off at a time. All is well with the world. Oh, yeah. Bit of PVA. Can't have a craft without a bit of PVA. Just gonna squidge it all over. Yeah, the brush. Old, nasty old brush. Doesn't matter if it gets glue on it. There we go. Bad show there. Bad show there, Shell. Alright. What have we got here? I do believe it is some water and some kitchen roll. Oh, yeah. Squidgy, squidgy. Soggy, soggy. Lovely jubbly. So out the mess. Come back. Drapey. Oh yes. And twisty. Of course. This is exactly what we needed to do. Drapey and twisty. Pointy ends. Because stalagmites have pointy, pointy ends. Gonna make a bit of a glue wash. Bit of glue. Bit of water. I give up spraying it. Pour some in. Yeah. No messing. <laughs> You've all seen everyone do this before. It's just a 50-50 watering glue. So it's a consistency of thin cream. So dribbly dribbly. Trying to be all clever with a brush. Yeah, look at me being all particular. And amazing. Oh, that was so wet and damp. There we go. Oh yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Oh, of course. Yes, yes. Painty, painty. And I just pour a ton in there because why not? And it I thought it would come out, but it didn't. It didn't come out. <laughs> so that is well and truly soaked with glue. And oh, it's all over my hands. It's all over the desk. I'm using the spray to wash it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so just uh, checking to see if I like the way it is. And I kind of do, kind of don't. I do change it up a little bit later. It's a bit too crinkly, folded crinkly for me, if that makes sense. It will later on. So I'm just getting an actual box of tissue. Very nice. Splitting it in half with my hands, with my beautiful nails I don't have. Uh, doing the spraying again. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Look at that. Soggy. And it ripped. And it ripped. It ripped. It ripped. Ah, oh, nuisance. But over the top. And then very gently, so very gently, just working it in. Ripping the bit off that doesn't need to be there. It doesn't matter. Just really, really gentle. The thinner your tissue, the more detail it'll look like it has. And I give up trying to paint it, so I just pour the glue over because, nah. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered, to be honest with you. It does the same job. I know Luke from Luke's APS just has got a spray bottle he uses, and if I had a spare one, I'd be using it as well. So off I go to put that on the uh, <laughs> on the drying rack. So this this is a quick way of. Um, this is a heat gun. Uh, I've just set it up so it's on its stand. Pointing at the stalag mine. So, yeah, sorry about the wobbliness. So, while it's drying, I'm making smaller ones. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just take, obviously, a sheet of uh, kitchen roll, spray it wet, get some glue on it. I've made one. And I'm just showing you quickly how to make another one. So, you just put it up in the middle. And obviously, as you can see here, 
I showed you that I used a piece of spare tissue just to soak up the rest of the glue and form it into that shape, um, which is easy enough to do. It's it's basically paper mache, you know, it's gone. So there we have that. And then it is dry. We must paint, paint it, paint it with cheap craft paints and make a really bad wet palette that doesn't work. So I give up with it and use the piece of paper that everything's on. Then I paint it grey, and there's there me giving up. <laughs> That's me just giving up. Super slow-mo brush action. <laughs> now for the dry brush. Everybody knows how to do this. Soak as much water off as possible. Get a lighter colour. Go across at the go across the grain, not with the grain. There we go. Uh, randomly, well, reasonably randomly. And then, what am I making? Oh yes, black wash. Aha, I don't actually have any, so I make my own. <laughs> so I get it all over my beautiful, clean craft mat. Mix that up, drop it all on, get it all in the creases. Could have used a bit of flow aid, should have used a bit of flow aid. Couldn't be bothered to go and get any dishwasher rinse aid, so. <laughs> there we go. Using a fan brush, this is quite um, quite a nice little technique if you can do it. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a fan brush. But you use it as a dry brush, but you put different colours on different parts of the bristles. So when you tap it on, you get the different like mottled effects. Now I was going for like, I was thinking there was bats in this cave maybe, so I was going for a guano effect, so that's why there's quite a lot of white and black mix. As you can see on the brush, it's not, um, it's not mixed in to be a grey, it is literally white and black and just putting bits on rubbing it in with my fingers so it looks like there's been bats and there's guano has dropped so this is me making just painting up the the smaller ones once they've dried exactly the same technique uh roughly the same colors so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please please thumbs up i'd love to know what you think if there's an easier way of doing this or a cheaper way of doing this please let me know in the comments below if you have made one Please let me know in the comments below and thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.